Welcome, today is day 18, and our scripture today is James chapter 1, verses 19 and 20. My name is Angela Clark Pollard. Our guiding question over this Lent season is what is the next brave and right thing that Holy Spirit wants me to do today? Before we jump into today's scripture, let's take a minute to spend some time with God. Silence your notifications, take a break from work or chores. Create some intentional space in your day when you don't have to multitask. Take a deep breath in and out and come into awareness that God is with you today, right now. Repeat this short prayer after me and spend a moment in silence, just being aware of God's presence with you. Father, I receive your love for me. Today's scripture reading is James 1, 19 through 20. It reads, My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry, because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. Anger is an emotion that we most likely have all felt from time to time. Sometimes anger just explodes out of us. When we get angry at something happening to us, it is usually more about something happening inside us, an unmet need, a perceived threat, or a feeling that we have lost control of something we are holding on to. Anger is not a sin, but it can lead to sin. Anger is a sign, a sign pointing us to an area we need to surrender to God, the only one who can truly meet all our needs. Earlier in this chapter, James tells believers to trust in God and remain faithful even during hard times. So what does it mean to remain faithful? One part of faithfulness is obedience. Those who obey God learn to slow down the speed of their speaking and increase the speed of their listening. This means we should seek to listen first and speak later. Because God is truly in control, we can afford to take time to listen and understand rather than reacting quickly in anger, being overwhelmed and spouting out everything all at once. Instead, we can slow down, step away, take a breath, calm down, and respond in a way that is helpful. When we let go of anger and trust in God, we allow Him to use us for His righteousness and accomplish His purpose in the world. In the world, you can't always control what goes on around you, but you can control the type of person you are going to be, how you choose to show up, and the impact that you leave on others. You have been set apart. You are led by the Holy Spirit. You are grounded in wisdom and rooted in love. So the next time you feel led to react, instead, slow down. Maybe take some deep breaths, pause, Say a quick prayer for the person or situation you are engaged with and ask for God's wisdom. He wants to give that to you. As we move towards a time of prayer, reflect on this question. What are some practical and healthy ways you can calm yourself down when you are getting angry or irritated? Repeat this short prayer after me and then allow God to speak to you. God, I'm here and I'm listening.
Now that we've taken some time in silence, let's conclude in prayer. God, thank you for meeting us where we are. Thank you that we can come to you with all of our emotions, anger, fear, joy, all of them. Help us to continue to remember that through the rest of this day. Pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.